So the outcry over Breonna Taylor is stirring up memories of a similar case right here in Atlanta. 14 years ago, Atlanta police officer shot and killed 92 year old Katherine Johnston when serving a no knock warrant at her home, but it was the wrong one. Natisha Lance talked to someone close to the case tonight. The, the tragedy that happened to Brianna just reminds me so much of the night that Katherine Johnston was killed. It's been 14 years since Atlanta police officers burst into the Northwest Atlanta home of 92 year old Katherine Johnston two days before Thanksgiving. Frightened, she grabbed her pistol and shot once to protect herself. Police returned fire 39 times, hitting her six times, killing her. Today, those close to the case see similarities between Johnson's death and the death of Breonna Taylor. It's saddening and in a lot of ways it's maddening. Officers entered Johnston's home on a no-knock drug warrant based on bad information. The officers tried to cover up their bad act by planting drug evidence in Johnston's home. The truth of the matter is it was the process, it was policy and procedure that killed Katherine Johnston, and it's the same thing for Breonna Taylor. Unlike Breonna Taylor's case, the three officers who entered Johnston's home were all arrested and convicted on federal charges. There's still an active federal investigation in Taylor's case, which could lead to charges for the officers. Reverend Markle Hutchins believes Taylor's death presents a new opportunity for systemic change. We have to focus on the solutions and not just being angry or upset, which we have every right to be. But at some point, you've got to turn your pain into power. The story is all too familiar to a Henry County family as well. Earlier this month, Chief Reveal Investigator Brendan Keefe uncovered exclusive body cam videos from a no-knock no warrant raid in McDonough where SWAT officers raided the wrong home. Andre Norris, who was 79 years old at the time, says the officers put him in handcuffs before realizing their mistake. It can happen to anyone. Uh, my grandfather was in his home watching <laughs> watching the news and um, all of a sudden the police come in on him. A lower court ruled the deputies had qualified immunity when they entered Norris's home. You can watch Brendan's full investigation on 11alive.com.